Hey guys, to hey, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we're going to talk about one tractor I like to keep and one that's going up for auction. Hey everyone, just wanted to invite you out to the Keating Tractor Show. This is going to be held in Liberal, Kansas on August 27th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Again, that's Liberal, Kansas, August 27th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mark your calendars, kiddos are welcome. There'll be activities for them, food, vendors, dunk tanks, and more. Come and meet Dave and I from Crazy D's Equipment. We hope to see you there. All right, guys, so for those of you who are familiar with this channel, you probably figured out which one I want to keep, but let's talk about the one that is for sure going up for auction. So the w, WD Alice Chalmer, uh, I believe it's a 50. If I remember right, I could be wrong. It's, 50 or, it's a 50 or a 49, something like that. Uh, this tractor has been a, a complete restoration. Um, if you've seen the original video on when everything came in, I told you about how this was the last one that the guy restored and he did a complete engine overhaul, top and bottom on it, um, clutch, uh, hand clutch, all of them, tires on the back, um, pretty good tires up front. I don't know how new they are, but they are, they're really, really good. So this tractor is going to go up on gavel road now i'm using gavel road and i've been i've been recommending you guys to start following gavel road and watching gavel road for the first stuff but um the reason i'm using gavel road is i can kind of put a bottom on this tractor because i kind of you know i kind of i got to bring in more than i paid for it but i'm not being greedy on it either i know it's a it's a wd alice they're not a big money tractor so they're not going to bring a whole lot of money on it but this thing is so nice um let me fire it up for you Oh, hold on, I forgot to pull the little thingy out. That should be, that should be in. Oh, in? Yeah. Is it in, Dan? Oh, yeah. So, what, what am I doing wrong? Because, uh, yeah. yeah. Price Junior Mint hasn't asked for it. Um, he, got, you know, you guys know from some of those you watch the channel how he's kind of an Alice nut. So, but anyhow, so this thing is going to go up. It's going to go up on a yesterday or yesterday's tractor. What am I thinking? Uh, it's going to go up on a Gavel Road. Uh, they're coming out fr or Monday to, to do the auction. The auction that it's going to be on will be the one ending August 9th. So if this is something you're interested in, guys, uh, it's going up. Let's talk about the one I want to keep. So for you that don't know, this is a 1951 uh, Case D um, picked up from the same auction. Um, you guys, most of you are probably familiar with this tractor because we've done the, the walkthrough and stuff. Um, I didn't give a whole lot for this tractor. I gave $1,400. Um, so really, if I keep it, I'm not really out a whole lot. Um, there are a few things on this tractor I did not notice auction day that 
I would have probably stopped myself from, who are we kidding? It's a case. I wouldn't have stopped myself from bidding on it. I would have bidded on it. Either way, I couldn't have stopped myself. But there's, I would have stopped from trying to buy it to, for resale if I would have seen at the auction. And if I don't know if Doc can focus in on there for you. On the side of the block there, apparently at one point the block has been cracked and they have done some kind of patching on the block there. Um, I've seen better patches, but I've seen a lot worse patches too. So they just paint over it and stuff. If I wanted, really wanted to, I have a block. I, we could do a complete teardown and a rebuild and put a new block on the tractor. Or I do know a guy that does the most amazing block repairs. He is a welding genius. So, but anyhow, you know the tires are pretty good on the on the back uh, one side doesn't match the other side i got a brand new up front i got an old old one uh, right there uh, the decals aren't finished the battery box lid is the wrong battery box lid um, yeah I, i'm finding things to make me think i want to keep this so you guys got to you guys got to go in the comments and you got to tell me why i shouldn't just go ahead and keep this tractor now I will probably list this tractor along with the other tractors on Gavel Road and um, and kind of set a set in a, 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 a bottom dollar on this thing. But you guys need to convince me not to keep it. I need your help. <laughs> because I have convinced myself that it's never gonna sell and I need to keep it anyways. So, any other thing is, you guys, you know, I got, I got one, two, three, f I got four of these already. I mean, I got three of these already. This would be number four. So how many D cases does a man need? I mean, we got a show, we got our local show coming up here real soon, and I will probably take this to the show. It's gonna make five. Okay, so Doc says this one I actually make five, so, but um, I'll take this one and then I'll take my garage one. This one's on 12 volt, my, my good, my really good original rest restoration one is still on six volt, still got some mag. This one's got the distributor. I think if I was going to do, if, if, if you could still do the antique tractor pulls in our area, which have pretty much dried up and disappeared in our area, I'm very jealous of you guys up north that still got tons of, uh, of, of tractor pulls up there because down this way antique tractor pulls are pretty much a thing of the past they're just we don't have ours at the state fair anymore we lost our building uh, most of the little cities around here that have old settler days and prairie festival and whatever else uh tulip festival and that kind of stuff don't have tractor pulls anymore our our show that we will be going to the first of august our show in gossel they don't have a tractor pull anymore we had a tractor pull there for years on sunday so i, I wish we still had that stuff around here especially now that i got the la and i got and i have this d this would be a good puller d and i think this would be a really good tractor to put angie on because i think she'd be she'd put it in, in the right weight class that it could do pretty good and i think she would do really good on this tractor so if i ever get the opportunity to pull a tractor pull these i definitely would put angie on this one i think i think Angie would do the best but um anyways guys so that's kind of with the video i know it's not a long one i know it's not a very interesting one but um i'm uh, if, if you if you so go in the comments and convince me that i need to let this thing go that's what i'm wanting from you please help convince otherwise i think i'm going to go to work and run off and hide this thing so doc doesn't make me sell it see you later on guys